We are on Reddit again today, subreddit, Facebook ads, and we're gonna cover something extremely interesting. I think this guy makes a lot of great points. And he says he's gonna teach us and I'm gonna comment and I will say if this is true or not. He says how to actually get quality leads using Facebook ads and make a lot of money. We're using Facebook ads because we wanna make a lot of money. Now let's get started. If your goal is to make a lot of money by selling your services to people and you want these people to come to you leads, then this post will help you. It may be long, but will be 100% worth your time spent reading, in my case, watching. So let's begin. I've seen a ton of posts in the last few weeks, people struggling to get leads for their services and offers. There are so many things people are doing wrong. I just want to quickly make this post to help you and point you in the right direction if you're going to use Facebook ads to get leads. First, Facebook is the best network right now to get quality leads for cheap. By cheap, I don't mean cents or a few bucks, but I mean the potential ROI from your leads easily surpasses any other network when you are using cold traffic to start. This is it. This guy makes this guy makes a great point. Facebook ads so far has been one of the best ad platforms right now to get leads for cheap. And when when we mean leads for cheap, we also mean leads that are going to convert on the long on the long term. So if you try if you want to try to get uh, leads from Google or YouTube ads or Twitter ads. In my experience, it's going to be a lot more expensive. If I'm helping a new ad account gener generate leads using cold traffic, Facebook is always my number one place to start, get a business up to 30, 100k a month in revenue, and then expand to Google. Again, another great point. If you want to go to cold traffic, Facebook should be your option because the way Facebook ads algorithm works, they're going to show your ads to people who are more likely to convert. The more money you spend, the more conversions you get, the better it gets. So this is the true power uh, of Facebook ads. And then he says that he is going to expand to Google. I also agree because if you start spending a lot of money on ads, people, what they do, they actually start typing your name on Google search. And if you don't appear there, somebody else will start bidding and you're gonna lose a lot of money. If you've heard anyone say any that if you heard anyone say Facebook is unstable, don't listen to them. These people just haven't taken the time to understand how the algorithm works properly. Again, I don't I don't fully agree because a lot of people are struggling with Facebook ads. Recently, we had a lot of crashes, the iOS 14. So even if you understand how the algorithm works, you always have a bad day on Facebook no matter even like even if you're like the best marketer even like the best facebook ads marketer out there even the best copywriter the best business they'll still have a bad day on facebook no matter how good your offer is but the better your offer the better your marketing the less bad days you have so think about it this guy goes and says that he has been running facebook ads for seven years and he spent seven meals on Facebook ads and here he's going to give us a few tricks. Important, before we begin, you need to differentiate between lead and book call and really understand what you're going after. A lead by industry standards is anyone who opts in, anyone who submits name, email and maybe phone number is a lead. A book call is a shadow or application is red is somebody who is registered to talk to you on the phone. So if you have a Calendly link, if you have a shadow ones, people who are directly interested to talk to you. Leads can also be generated for email marketing purposes only. However, a book appointment is specifically generated in order to get on a call to sell a high ticket service or program. Now, there are a few types of offers, high ticket and low ticket. You can generate leads for both using Facebook ads, but the strategy for both is totally different. The real reason why people get frustrated with lead gen on Facebook is because they mix up the strategy for both offers and they don't know what to do. And Facebook doesn't do a good job by explaining this properly, unless 
like me, you actually go and read the entire blueprint from start to end once a month. Two mistakes. People use low, low ticket strategies to get high ticket leads. People use high ticket strategy inc incorrectly to lower quality audiences. You see, there are two types of campaigns you can use to get leads. So basically the first campaign he says is a lead form campaign. This is the campaign that you built inside Facebook. This way people submit the lead form without even leaving Facebook. And this is the strategy Facebook prefers because they hate people leaving the platform. The second strategy would be like a conversion campaign. In this case, you send people to your website. And usually the second strategy where you send people to your website, in my experience, drives lower quality leads. And each of them, and each of them will target a totally different audience quality. Remember when I said Facebook treats leads as an opt-in by the industry definition, opt-in audiences don't put too much thought into signing up. They usually sign up for freebies, lead magnet. This is usually a cheap audience that needs to be warmed up over a period of time to eventually, hopefully convert, convert into valuable customers. I agree this. I agree with this guy. Uh, when you uh, use the lead forms on, on, on Facebook, or even like any lead campaign, for example, Facebook knows uh, who are the people who opt in everywhere, right? They know uh, who are the people. So if you have a campaign optimized for leads, uh, Facebook will show this ad to anybody who is opting about everything. So this is like not a great strategy. When you use the lead form campaign, this is exactly the kind of audience you reach. Have you ever been frustrated with junk lead forms from lead campaigns? Have you ever been irritated to find fake entries and random leads from your lead form campaigns? Have you ever called on these leads to get a voice on the other end saying, hey, sorry, I never signed up for this. I don't know how you got my number. If you have, you know exactly why. Okay, so he makes a very, very good point. So Facebook knows what actions people perform on their, uh, on their platform. For example, there are people who are engaged shoppers who, who would buy anything. So when you run a campaign optimized for purchases, a lot of people who are more likely to buy will start seeing your ads, right? When you optimize a campaign optimized for leads, you might get some of this traffic. And he goes and says, most entrepreneurs are trying to sell their services by getting on a call, but they're trying lead form campaigns and getting mostly junk. Out of 100 leads, one will convert. Imagine time spent on 100 calls to close one. So what do you do? How do you get leads and make a lot more money? The conversion campaign lead optimization. When you use conversions campaign and optimize for leads as the event, this is where you start re re reaching higher quality audience. So instead of like, I'm not sure if I get this right, let's read a little bit. But keep in mind, this is expensive. This costs higher CPMs and higher CPC, but you reach higher quality audience. You reach an audience that wants to get on a call and get your help now. But, but, but I've, hey, I've tried this and still doesn't work. If this is what you're saying to yourself, keep reading, please. Okay, so this guy's a very good copywriter. I'm engaged, I'm hooked, I wanna read. The reason why this isn't working for you is because you're using low ticket marketing messages to speak to higher quality prospects. When you are speaking to high, higher quality audiences, you have three to five seconds to grab their attention. Keep them hooked to what you've written, keep them glued to, to their screen. Wow you excite their senses, make them feel a connection with your business and service and make them want to talk to you, right? So this is like easier said than done, you know? <laughs> if you read it, you're like, wow, I wanna do that. But this is gonna take a lot of work actually. If, if your messaging, your copywriting doesn't arouse that accusative uh, feeling within them, this will not work. And unfortunately, no amount of money spent on lead gen will ever work. And he makes a very, very good point. What he basically says is that if your marketing strategy is not very, very good, you're gonna end up spending a lot of money on ads. So how to make this lead generation 
think work on Facebook and actually make big money. We want to make the big money. Please tell us. Tell us, Mr. Reddit guy. <laughs> five things, five simple things that if you master, you will practically never run out of clients ever again. Your bank balance will always be the prior month balance and you have to find extra time to talk to clients because you will have so many of them. The first thing he says is doing in-depth customer profiling, which I agree, which I agree. If you want to get high quality leads, you just need to tap into your customer avatar. You need to understand their pain, their struggle, their needs, their worries, what humiliates them, what keeps them up at night, what makes them happy, what they desire, what their ideal life looks like. You need, you need to know everything about your market. You literally need to take six, seven days to sit and work on your idea customer avatar. Actually, there is a very, very good book that talks about finding your ideal customer avatar and the book is called Dan Kennedy, The Ultimate Sales Letter. And in this book, he has 12 questions. So this is the book. Uh, this is the cover of the book. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it. So in this book, he provides you with, I think, 10 to 12 questions. And if you answer uh, these questions, uh, you have the avatar ready to go. And you'll be surprised, but here's where many people make the mistake. They go straight to product creation. They go straight to just running ads, but they never take time to do this. It's boring. It's a boring marketing work but you need to do it. So let me find if I'm gonna 12 questions to find your customer avatar, Dan Kennedy. I think they, they should be, okay, yeah. 10 smart market diagnosis and 10 questions to ask before you write a word of copy. And it should be 10 questions to ask before you create any product or marketing campaign. And I'm just gonna read you some of the questions. What keeps them awake at night? indigestion boiling up there. Oh, this is like way too complicated for me to read. What are they afraid of? What are they angry at? Who they're angry at? Uh, what are the top three daily frustrations? What trends are occurring? This is basic marketing strategy, but this is the boring stuff that will actually make your campaign work. The second thing you need to present an offer they cannot refuse. Like the Godfather, you need to be able to create an offer they just cannot refuse. You see, once you've understood everything about your customer avatar, you easily understand how to make your service to best fit them. This will include all the value you can provide, customer service, pricing, packaging, everything needs to be to match your avatar's needs, pain, struggles, and desires. You need to take six, seven days to create your perfect offer. Okay, so what's the what are the books to create your perfect offer? So if I have to be honest, a book that I would recommend would be like a book by Todd Brown. I'm not sure the name of the book. I think the book is the big idea. Yeah, this is the book you want to get. So go and find Todd Brown, Todd Brown, the big idea book. Right now, everybody is talking about Alex Hormozzi, but I think Alex Hormozzi book is just like very mainstream right now. A lot of people are copying the advice. So I think this book is just like very, very, very good book. And if you want another book to help you go deeper into this, I would suggest you reading.com secrets by Russell Brunson. And here you're just getting the fundamentals of how to put an offer together. And of course you can go and uh, get Alex Hormozzi's book. The book is called 100 million offers. 100 million leads. So go for those books if you want to. Uh, but those will be the books that I would recommend. The next thing, copywriting proficiency. If you read the book by Dan Kennedy, uh, The Ultimate Sales Letter, you're going to get a lot of ideas on how to write copy. So this is the book I would recommend. Also, within Insight.com Secret Book, uh, you'll get a lot of copywriting proficiency. If, you, if you're going to use Facebook, or any internet marketing network for that matter, you better get good at writing copy. You don't need to be an ad writing genius. You just need to understand human psychology and few copywriting formulas. Once you learn, so basically he says that you, you're going to use copywriting in ads, sales letters, emails, and this guy, I think he invested a lot of money 
and time to, re to learn copywriting. So I extremely agree. Then he goes, Facebook ads, cheats and tricks, cheats and tricks. You should use conversion campaign to drive traffic. You should only either lead or schedule as the optimization events. You need to launch high impact ads with advanced long form copy on Facebook. So long, long copy versus short copy. A lot of people say use short copy because people don't read. However, there are people who read. What do you do with the people who read? Usually, if you want to buy something, you want to read a lot of information uh, regarding the product. So people who are really interested, they usually read. Buyers are readers. And when you pay money to Facebook ads, you're paying for the space uh, on the Facebook newsfeed or on the Instagram newsfeed. So use long form copy because this will give you like more space, right? At the end of the day, this is what you're paying for when you run Facebook ads. You need to send the traffic to a long form sales letter that uses advanced copywriting principles and formulas that does 80% of the selling for you. From the sales letter, you need to send the opt-in to a uh, qualifier. This can be a questionnaire or a quiz. And then you set the qualifying application to shadow a call. And here he says that you need to use a schedule. You need to start with one campaign, one ad set, uh, an audience size of one to million, and you need to spend 200 to 250 per day to get about four to five quality inbound booked appointments. This is at least 200, 150 quality calls in one month with a $7,000 uh, ad spend. So let's pull up the calculator and let's see. So here, I'm not sure if he's talking about booked calls or leads. So if we divide 7,000, or not 70,000, 7,000, again, 70,000, 7,000 divided by 150, the cost per inbound booked call will be $46, which is extremely, extremely good. So, okay, so you spend 7K on ads, you talk to 150 people, make sure you're selling something for at least 3,000. And here, this guy makes another great, great point. If you get 150 people to talk to you on the phone and you sell, let's say, to four of these people, you're going to make 12K. So let's do it again. So you're, you spend 7K on ads, and if you sell four people to buy 3,000, this is 12K. So you make, I'm just gonna do the calculation because it's fun. You make 5,000, which is very, very, very good. Especially right now when the Facebook ads are going crazy each and every day, I believe similar strategy could work for a lot of people. And this is a strategy I'm using right now, but don't tell anybody. Your target close rate should be around 40%. I think 40% is like super high. You need to be like Jordan Belfort or some other like sales shark, sales machine. Um, but with this process, even if you close 15%, that's 22 customers. So he says out of like those uh, 150 people, you're going to close 22. So 22 multiply by 3000. This is 66 K. And here he does the calculation for me, but I want to be the smart guy with the calculator. You spend 70 K to make 66 K. I think this is amazing. I think this is how a lot of people do it right now. They target, they just target appointments, shadow a call and base and then they get people on calls and they close deals. All your leads should be sent to at least three locations, uh, your CRM, Google Drive Sheet, Slack, or its equivalent for your setters and closers to take your calls. All your pages should be tracked properly using third-party cookies, Pixel by Facebook, Google Analytics, LinkedIn Pixel, and native pixels to build audiences. So here, I don't suggest using all the pixels because those pixels will make your landing page lo lots slower. So maybe prioritize the pixels. If you ne if you'll never go to like native ads, don't do native pixels. If you don't if you don't want to do LinkedIn, don't do the LinkedIn pixel. You should always maintain your Google Sheet and update your 
conversation history with your leads. You should always record all your Zoom meetings and then train. Basically what he says, if you're doing like sales calls, you should track your sales calls and improve them based on the data. Okay, so this is uh, the idea he has. If you wanna go more prof more professional, the CRM I recommend using could be like Pipedrive. Uh, so let me not open my Pipedrive.com. So yeah, just check Pipedrive.com. I won't open it right now. Uh, the next thing, number five, the fifth step, bulletproof sales. Like Jordan Belfer says, if you don't have a script, shame on you. You better be prepared with the le with the best sales script and the sales process converting at least 35 to 45%. So I think 35 to 45% is like extremely high. In my opinion, this is extremely high. I don't say it's impossible. I'm, I'm gonna say it's difficult. And the case scenario where you close 35 to 45% into sales, number one, you need to have an extremely hot product. Keep in mind that you're selling 3K uh, service out of like 100 people. He says that he's gonna able to close 40 people, which is insane in my opinion. I think this is very, very high. Uh, this work, this works with intense accuracy and the results are predictable, consistent and scalable. Go ahead and try this out. Always here to help if you have questions. If you're making less than 10K per month, you should not be running ads. You need to get clients organically and then get to 10, 20K per month fast and then reinvest that money into ads to scale. But I'm gonna do another calculation for you. Let's say you don't have 7K on ads. Let's say you have 3K on ads. Uh, with this calculation, he said, let's say you, you get 50 people uh, on the call, right? And let's say you close 10% uh, of those people. 10% of those people are five people. So if you spend 3K on ads, and if you close five people, um, you're gonna make 15K. So I believe running ads for a service or agency business makes a lot of sense because you don't need huge number. Even like if you close just one client, if you're very bad at sales, it still makes sense because you're getting a lot of data. So I, I truly believe that this strategy is, is very, very good. If you're making, so if you're making less than 10K, you need to first read my book where I've outlined a specific strategy that will help you get unlimited clients. And let's see the book. Let's see who is this guy. He doesn't even has a face or enough. Srivadrut. I'm not sure if I can pronounce this. Right. Uh, let me see. Get your copy for $5.99. Let's see if we can buy the book. So yeah, so unlimited clients. If you're making 10K months comfortably, you need personalized help with your ads and you want me to take a deeper look into your campaign or maybe you want me to help you set up the whole thing, no problem. You can consult with me here. Let's see the link. Open the floodgates of leads, sales meetings, revenue and profits. Floodgates sounds scary to me open the floodgates anyway if you're making at least 50k a month 500k per year and you want me to get you to 3 to 10 per year get his smart ads ultra system flood your sales calendar with 300 hot sales meetings every month so he does like a decent explanation i believe this guy is a decent copywriter i believe this guy made very very reasonable points i think some of the things I would doubt about this post would be like the close rate. If somebody is closing at this close rate, <laughs> it's, it's just gonna be insane. It's just gonna be insane. And let's read some of the comments. Well, thank you so much for this insight. You had just, I just, I had just finished a out with an expert asking exactly what you just laid down here. Thank you so much. So this guy, my question, the ad budget is really high for a new business or, or struggling business or business that is in a developing country. So if the business is in a developing country, the ad cost won't be that high. In the United States, the cost per click goes for like, let's say $5. 
if you run, if you live in Europe, let's say Poland, the cost per click might be like one or two dollars. So think about it. Think about it. It makes a lot of sense to run ads locally. If you're in France, in Spain, the competition is not that high, so you're going to crush it. If you want to go to the USA market, you need to be a lion. You need to have very good copy. You need to have very good offer because it's just like super competitive right now. This guy says, one of your ideal audience with serious video view campaigns make custom audience for that people who watch 75% of videos. So basically this guy is saying that you should do a uh, remarketing campaign and there are like a bunch of questions. The iOS 14 update, I have validated the creative for So this guy says, I have validated one credit for a $1,000 product. I have to run a conversion campaign and capture leads to sell this product. Do you think a $20 day budget is okay for testing? So basically this guy is saying, can I spend like $40 to make 2K? It's possible, but very highly unlikely. Uh, yeah, this video is getting around 27 minutes. So pretty much, I think it's a good time for me to uh, turn it off. Uh, but first, before I turn it off, let me let me share something. If you wanna get high, if you wanna actually get high quality leads, the first thing that you need to to figure out is who are you selling to, right? If you wanna spend money, if you wanna make money, if you wanna make plenty of money. Who are you selling to? Okay, the, the, the second question is, do they have money that you want to make, right? If you want to sell a 3K program, and if you want to sell to like high school students, you're going to see that they don't have money. So think about if they do have money, right? The next thing you need to say is, you need to think, how do I get these people? How do I get these people on a phone, on a phone call, which is actually very simple if you know uh, what you're doing. But those are the fundamentals, like those are the fundamentals that a lot of people miss out. They want to do the funnels, they want to duplicate the pages, they want to like run Facebook ads. But without this, without the basic strategy, nothing works. If you want me to help you with your Book a call funnel, getting leads funnel, go to my website, nico.velikov.com. I'm going to make myself. You can go to services and you can just done with you and you can click here to book a marketing call with me. You can apply. So in August, I have some slots. So make sure you book your call with me. If you want to support my channel, if you like what I do, feel free to check the links in the description below. I offer a lot of stuff I do. I have an online, I have a few online courses on running Facebook ads. I have an ebook that will show you how to create an online course with AI. So my camera is getting very, very hot. So I'm gonna pause this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment below. Are you getting highly qualified leads or not? Interested to hear that. And yeah, yeah, bye for now.